All praise, honor, and glory go to Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai. Peace and safety to the hopefully elect, all the sincere brothers. Pushing the Heavenly Father's word out of a pure heart and sincerity and in truth. And for everybody out there that don't know Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God and Yahweh Shai. That's the name of the only begotten Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And what you're looking at on your screen is a article from Live Science which science is just another weapon or tool that Esau used to put spells to push his lies, his confusion and witchcraft and deception in the earth. So the article says human ancestors, Lucy, get a new face and stunning um, reconstruction. So Lucy is uh, supposedly the first humans the first humans, what you can see on your screen, it's a beast, man. It's not a human, all right? This the shit that they teach in schools. They're teaching our kids in schools that man come from beasts. And um, this contrary to the Bible, to the creation story in the Bible. So it says early humans reconstruction tend to be more than art, more art than science. Which is, is is basically based on lies, man. It's deception, it's confusion. Because these are cl clearly beasts. This is clearly, these are clearly beasts. This is not uh, early humans. So the article reads, uh, new facial reconstruction of two early humans. Early humans. Famously known as Lucy and Tongue Child. Show how these two individuals may have looked when they lived in Africa a million of years ago. And that's another lie from the father of lies, which is Esau, referred to as the devil in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 44. The earth is not millions of years, okay? And man did not come from beasts. And I'm going to show you that in the Bible. And show you that uh, Esau is just the father of lies, man. Science is a weapon that's used uh, to push his confusion, to push his lies, basically, in the earth. So this is the creation story here in uh, the book of Genesis, which Genesis means the beginning. Genesis means the beginning. And I'm going to dispel two of those lies that man came from beasts and that the earth is uh, millions of years old man so uh this is um the book of genesis chapter 1 and verse 24 and 24 which is the sixth day and it says and the power said let the earth bring forth living creatures after his kind cattle creeping things and beasts and that's what lucy this um, depiction of uh, early humans is a beast, man. That's not early humans. Humans didn't derive from beasts, man. It says, and beasts of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And the power made the beasts of the earth after his kind. So beasts are not going to turn into mankind. He brought forth beasts after his kind. And cattle after their kind. So beasts not going to turn into cattle. Which cattle is a form of beast. But it says in everything that creepeth upon the earth. Such as insects. Such as insects. Roaches. All various types of insects. So a beast is not going to turn evolve. That's the word they use uh, in science, evolve into insects. Okay, it says creeping upon the earth after his kind and the power saw that it was good. And the power said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let us, referring to the Allah Hayyim, the Allah Hayyim, referring to Yahweh Shai and the host of heaven, which are the angels. That's who this God is referring to. When you look up this word God, 
um, in the Hebrew, it says rulers, judges. It says plural, gods, angels. Uh, let's see here. It says gods in the ordinary sense. It says plural, plural. This is not referring to the most high. Okay. This is referring to the powers, the Allahayim. In Yiddish, is uh, the Elohim. So it says, and, and, and God said, let us, uh, Salakia, verse 26. It says, and the power said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. So according to Esau's science, uh, the Lord, the gods, the gods who 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 um responsible for the creation is in the image of beasts, man. If 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 early uh humans, which are mankind, humans are mankind, came evolved into uh be man evolved from beasts. So this is a complete lie. Science, like I said, is used to push spells to cast spells upon the masses, man. From the father of lies. So it says, it says, um, and let them refer to man. And when you look up this word man, it says Adam, which means first man. All right. And, 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 and the Lord didn't just create one man. Okay. The same way he didn't just create one beast. The same way he just didn't create one cattle. All right. So, the word man goes back to Adam, which means first man, as you can see on your screen, first man. So, it says, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, which was created on the fifth day, and over the fowls, which was created on the fifth day as well, of the air, and over the cattle, which is the sixth day. And over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So man was made in the likeness of the gods. It says, verse 27, so the powers, the Allahayim, the Elohim, the gods, created man, Adam, the first man, not just one man, mankind, in his own image. So the, so the gods created man. In the image of the gods. Not in the image of beasts, man. So it says, in the image of the powers, created he him, male and female, created he them. Referring to mankind. Referring to mankind. So man did not evolve from beasts. Man did not evolve from beasts. And that's the madness that they're teaching our children in schools. Um, in their school system, man, which is designed to cast spells, to cast their spells, push their confusion, man. So this is um in the apocrypha. This is the apocrypha, and um, let's see. I'm gonna deal with that million years. So this is um. The Apocrypha dealing with the creation. It says, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and 53. Upon the sixth day, thou gavest commandment upon the earth that before thee it should bring forth beasts. And that's what Lucy is, a beast. Men didn't evolve from beasts. Cattle and creeping things. Just like the book of Genesis stated. And after these, Adam also, mankind also, mankind also, whom thou madest Lord over all thy creatures, of him we, of him we all, and the people, Salakia, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen, which are the Israelites, the chosen of the Heavenly Father. So, let's uh, get a priest up and deal with that million, with that million years. This is a uh, second Ezra's 
chapter 14 and uh verse verse 10 let's deal, start at verse 10 um it says for the world has lost his youth his youth and the times begin to wax old to wax old so we're dealing with time According to science, according to the father of lies, the earth is millions of years, years old. It says for the world is divided into 12 parts. So we know we're dealing with time. That's the context that we're dealing with is time. 12 parts and 10 parts of it are gone already. And 10 parts of it is gone already. Referring to 10,000 years, man. Okay. Okay. And half of the tenth part. So this is dealing with 10,000 years. 2,000 years ago. A little bit over 2,000 years ago. When the Lord himself walked the earth. And let's prove it. And there remaineth that which is after the half. The half of the tenth part. Which will make 10,000 years. At the point when Ezra was getting this, uh, this vision, man. Okay. Now, therefore, set thy house in order and reprove thy people comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. So the point was that during the time when Ezra was getting this vision uh, from the angel, uh, 10,000 years had passed at this point. And we know the Lord walked the earth uh, basically around 500 years after Ezra received this, this vision, this vision. So basically 2000 years ago, man, 2,500 years ago, roughly saying. So basically the earth is only 12,000 years, man. Okay. 12,000 years old is not a millions of years old, according to the father of lies, but according to the Bible, during the time when Ezra received this vision, was roughly 9,500 years. 500 years before uh, the Lord walked the earth. And the Lord uh, was dead over 2,000 years, so that would make it 12,000 years, man, according to the Bible, not the father of lies. So, according to science, according to Esau confusion, the earth is millions of years old. And according to the father of lies, um, mankind evolved from apes, from beasts. Uh, and that's adverse against the scripture. And that's why the Lord referred to him as Satan in Revelation 12. Referred to him as the deceiver, the devil that deceived the whole world through science, using science. That's one of the weapons, one of the tools that Esau used to deceive the world. And uh, basically, that's the point. And uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.